To the simple layman, homogenization consists of averaging out properties of an inhomogeneous structure. Children playing with sand on the beach intuitively figure out that one can make large microscopic sand castles with microscopic grains. To the naked eye, the large bunch of microscopic particles makes a continuum medium. The simple concept of averaging has had tremendous applications in many branches of continuum mechanics and physics. Experimentalists working in photonics know, for instance, simple and effective medium theories take into account the microstructure of the real material. In photonic crystals, the microstructure is perfectly periodic and is represented by a lattice. In the context of electromagnetic waves, homogenization is well illustrated in nature, as is the case for this morpho butterfly, where in the naked eye this is what you see. This is the equivalent of the microscopic scale in mathematics. If you look at a morpho butterfly under the microscope, you discover its microscopic structure. Similarly, iridescent colors of the male peacock's tail feathers and the sea mouse are caused by interference effects rather than by pigments. In this particular case, the wavelength of light is about the same size as their microstructure. Now, for homogenization theories, the classical homogenization assumes that the wavelength of light is much larger than the length scale of the microstructure. High frequency of homogenization extends classical homogenization to wavelengths that can be of the same size of the microstructure. A metaphor to see that these would yield different results is the following. Take for example a large tire rolling down a staircase. If the steps of the staircase are small enough, then the tire will roll down as if it was rolling down a flat inclined plane. As the steps get bigger, the tire will roll down by bouncing also up and down. High frequency homogenization separates the original length scale into two, a long scale capital L and a small scale L. This yields an equation in the long scale where the effective properties of the medium are represented by effective the electric permittivity and magnetic permeability. These take into account the microstructure of the medium by weighted averages. This is an illustration of high frequency homogenization versus a finite element simulation. On the left panel you see a doubly periodic array of square cells with circular holes. This is excited at a specific frequency in the center and it unveils a highly directive emission. This hyperbolic behavior of the medium is well captured by high frequency homogenization as you can see on the right hand panel. High frequency homogenization captures the classical effective medium at low frequencies but crucially also unveils effective slow media and anisotropic dispersive media which happen at higher frequencies. Thank you.